I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 13th of September, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. Today I'm out in the rain. We're heading out on a country road on the north side of the Ponoloya Highway, pretty close to the beach. I've never actually walked out here and I'm just out exploring to see what we can find. It ended up raining. I didn't have time to get out when I wanted to today. So we're on the GoPro audio, which I hope is working, uh, so that we can uh, get this recorded without having to worry about the camera. So I'm carrying a lot less than I normally do, and uh, but I'm out walking in the rain. In uh, kind of the middle of nowhere, let me show you where I am. We're heading up that way. I don't know what there is. I wonder who hurt you. I wonder who made you so, so mad. Tell me where did you learn to? Be so negative, you're such a drag. pretty serious rainstorm we got going on. There's a lot of thunder and lightning as well. It's a tropical storm. It's kind of how it is. There's these kind of interesting paths as I walk by. I have no idea. There's a lot of rain. I, it's pretty rare that I do a show in the rain today. I'm just like, screw it. I'm heading out. I don't care if it's raining. I'm a little bit, a little bit uh, behind the eight ball today. The kids and I, I had a, a busy day and then went out with the kids and did coffee at Ca uh, Casa del Cafe they've been wanting to do that it's a pretty common thing the kids and i go out and do uh coffee runs together we really enjoy just getting that time together we gotta blow off this lens i didn't think it through coming out in the rain i've got the gopro 9 which often i take when it's a little bit harsher conditions because i don't care about it as much but the 11 has the hydrophobic lens i really should have thought that through it handles the rain so much better i just hiked up a hill this is a really pretty walk even in the rain this is quite nice and you know it's warm here so I'm not like super concerned but like every bit of this road has like heavy trees and then there's fields beyond but then like this what is, what is this i it's not on the maps i don't i don't know what this is i hope the audio is good on this between the rain hitting the camera everything being wet me being soaked and using the on camera audio this could be awful so Fingers crossed, sorry if this one isn't good. Definitely get in the comments and let me know what you think about this one. Because, you know, completely different format. Trying to do something a little bit different. But you know, rain is a big part of Nicaragua. For six months of the year, we get a lot of rain. And for the most part, I avoid filming in the rain for obvious reasons, right? It just, it just makes sense. But, you know, if I don't show the rain, you're kind of missing out on a, quite a bit of what our experience is here. There's a lot to Nicaragua that just involves rain. So here it is. There's really no landmarks to speak of up on this path. So, I mean, it's a pretty good road. One of my goals today was to see how bad this road was because it kind of appears like it may be really rural and impassable, but so far this is very drivable. So maybe I'll come up sometime with the car and go a lot farther because there's towns up here, but they're really far away. So I really didn't know, it's funny how long we've lived here when we've never just taken the car down here. But if I come down sometime when it's really dry, I should be able to head up this road and, and go visit some places and then walk once I get there. But it's, it's miles away, so starting that is like the beginning of a walk can be really tough, especially if I'm carrying the cameras and stuff. I mean, this is a really pleasant walk, but I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna bring up a map while we're doing this so that you can see roughly where we are. I don't have any landmarks to go off of. So other than like, there's a really nice tree over there. There's a nice field over here. I don't have a way to really identify exactly where on the road I am, but I'll make my best guess, bring up a map and show that to you. So you have a general idea of where we are. And you can see that there's the villages that are out in front of us are very small, like really small. But like, I've noticed that at least one of them has a health center in it. So that implies there's at least some amount of services and there's some way to get there, like government workers are going to and from uh, for medical services or whatever. And we're not that far outside of Leon, so I mean, it kind of makes sense. So we're just off to explore some more. All right, I gotta say, one of the reasons you come out for walks in bad weather in crazy remote places that no one has ever gone is for views like this. Cane fields, storm clouds, and volcanoes out there, and then Cerro de Oro, over there, which I've climbed previously. This is just incredible. I need to come out here with the Olympus and get some really good long shots out here, but wow, wow, this is gorgeous. 
So this walk is beautiful and really pleasant. The rain was really only heavy for maybe 10 minutes and then it's, it's been raining, but it's not been heavy the rest of the time and the thunder and the lightning are pretty far away, at least six miles. So that's not bad. I've done about a mile up from the highway. I'm gonna check, yeah, 0.96 miles uh, from the Ponaloya Road. So, you know, roughly a mile north. There's a little bit of a, a jag to it, but the downside to doing this is that there's pretty much anticipated to be nothing to see. It's just fields and the occasional volcano view. It's just a rainy day with trees and stuff. It's beautiful and a pleasant walk, but as far as bringing you guys content, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing the countryside because I mean, this is a little bit interesting, definitely beautiful, um, but normally we've got houses and things going on and people and there's nothing out here. Like this is, this is empty, right? So uh, it's neat, like it's important. This is a part of Nicaragua that we don't normally show, but it's also a lot less interesting to see on video. If you live here and walk this, you'd be like, oh, fantastic, what a great walk. But yeah, for the video, let me know, get in the comments and uh, tell me what you think of uh, coming out in the country and doing some of this. Of course, some places in the country have more view, and like you can see things here, we're kinda just deep in fields. You can't see any of this from any of the highways. We're way out in the middle of nowhere. So this, this one's particularly tough. So I've gone two miles on my walk, which is really my goal. I wanted to do at least two miles, and I wanted to get to this high point in the road, which has some amazing views, and the two just happened to coincide. I hit, it's like 2.01 miles as I got here, so that's fantastic. I had a good walk. I gotta do two miles back, so I'm only halfway through. I'm wet, it stopped raining, it's quite pleasant. The views are amazing, it is so quiet up here. We talked in some recent episodes about how Nicaragua was just always so noisy, but I said, you know, there's places you can get away from that, and this is one of them. The sound of my feet, the birds, and the thunder is about all there is. It's pretty amazing, I love being this remote, and there's no power lines out here or anything, so you're like, nothing but nature. I mean, it's fields, but you know what I mean? It's pretty cool. Now, as I say that, there is someone coming up the road. I want to say I've had a total in the last hour and a half-ish, because I've been climbing quite a bit, so I'm really high. Not really high, but I'm quite high compared to where I was. I have had a total of three motorcycles. This one's going to be number four, and one guy walking and one small pickup truck in the entire time I've been out here walking two miles. For you guys, that is the only things I've seen. So partially that's because of the rain, I'm sure, but also there's just nothing out here. This is this is seriously remote. Uh, so this kind of thing, like this is this is hard to picture as part of Nicaragua. I don't think it's surprising that wide open areas exist in Nicaragua. Of course they do. But are you are you thinking of them when you're picturing Nicaragua? No, we're, we're picturing the cities and the tourist centers and all those things because it's what people film, it's where people go, it's where there's activities. But if you're looking to go out for a hike, if you're looking to explore, if you're looking to potentially live in a place that's totally different than, than what we're picturing, well, that might exist. And it may just take a little creativity to get out there and find it because there's beautiful spots, beautiful things if you just want to get away from it all you can and actually as I'm saying this I'm walking through the middle of nowhere and uh, this is I'm sure I'm not supposed to be here I just found this in the middle of one of the fields my guess is this is someone's private hidden swimming hole up here in the middle of nowhere uh, which is a thing to do, right? You work in the fields, uh, you want to throw parties. I mean, no one lives anywhere near here, but if you had a pickup truck full of people, you could come out here quite easily. Surprisingly, the road coming here is not bad. Like you, like even my car will come up here without a problem. I really thought it was going to be very rough and it's, it's not. It's dirt and it's got the hard rocks in it. So I don't like that. It makes walking kind of hard. It definitely makes driving really bad because it's bumpy, but it's clear and you just have to go slow and it's an easy drive. You can see those storm clouds out there. I love it. Nicaragua winter afternoons. With all of this, I'm gonna start hoofing it back. It is now 420. I've got more than an hour to get back. It's gonna get dark, especially with the storm. I can see that it's not just cloudy, but there's rain in the direction that I need to go. So I'm heading back into storm clouds. It's a little bit brighter out here. I'm to the north, and so the storm is kind of heading from Leon to the beach, and I'm 
not very far, but on the direction of Chinandega, which normally gets the storms first, but uh, today it's not. So I'm gonna head back. I need to get back before it's dark. I mean, this, this is safe out here, but I don't wanna slip and fall or twist an ankle or something in the dark because you do wanna see the road. Sorry for the wind noise. I don't have the muffling that I normally do. And uh, I do wanna point out that on this walk, I just did more than two miles, not a single house, not a single barn, not a single structure of any sort, except one little lean-to that was just like a place where people sit and cook or something when they're working in the fields, and one bench. That is it, that is the only structure we've seen the entire way from the turnoff. Not in, it's not like even something at the corner. There is absolutely no structures for more than two miles, and I don't know how far I can see up there, maybe a tenth of a mile or so, so maybe 2.2 miles total, visibility, zero structures, this is, out there. Now, about 1.8 miles up, I could hear a radio off in the distance. Very faint. So somewhere there is somebody, could be just someone sitting in a field with a radio, uh, but somewhere there's somebody playing just a little bit of music out somewhere. I'll point somewhere out there. But uh, that's it. There is no one out here. So all over the country. Stuff like this exists. Less in the Managua zone. The center of the country is definitely much denser. This is a pretty farmland part of the country. All of western Nicaragua gets pretty remote pretty quickly. But this is extreme. But a lot of this exists. It's all over. Look at the maps. You'll be like, wait, oh, I can see. I just never look at that. I'm looking at the cities. It's everywhere. So without further ado, I'm going to start hoofing it. There is definitely a storm rolling in which I think is gonna be more than the one I've already gone through. So get down there in those comments. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, tell your friends, post on social media. I'm just keeping this one short today. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. As always, if you're looking for assistance with relocation to Nicaragua, even just a phone consult, or you want someone to give you a private tour, info at relocatenicaragua.com. Send us an email and I will see all of you tomorrow. And tomorrow we should have the GoPro 12. I literally hit the power button after saying the end and the rain started. So the wind has picked up and I'm now walking into a storm really quickly. So that sucks. Couldn't get B-roll today because I couldn't bring a dry pod because of the rain. But you do get me jogging because I want to get back before it gets terrible. Here we go. I almost fell over. So my walk back has been in heavy rain, but it's really not been that bad. I'm soaking wet. Every step I take, water pours out of the top of my shoes, but it's not been that bad. And I'm right around the corner from my car. Like it's just out of sight, but I got to show you what lies between me and the car. I've had not a single thing like this for four miles of walking and I'm just, just to the car, but I can't quite get there. This gets a big sad face from me. I turned down a ride too. A truck came by, they're like, get in, it's like terrible. I'm like, my car's right there. Like I was just out of sight up there. And now I'm like, oh, I really need a truck just to take me over this puddle. <laughs> that is deep. <sighs> okay, mad navigation skills. There's the puddle, I actually made it around. That was an adventure. Now I want you to see miles. I just walked four miles. This is the only obstacle like this. That's my car. 
That's how close I was to that. I'm going home now. See you guys tomorrow.